Yes, he got stuck in his room. He plays game from morning till evening. And when he's done, he just comes to the kitchen, gets his food, eats. And then he goes back to his room and continue with his video games. Yes, that's how it is. You know, and there's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing you can do about that. How can you allow that? How can you allow that as a mom? How can you allow that as a dad? It's not good, okay? It's not good. There are things that you are supposed to be informed about. You have to know some certain things about parental control. When it comes to media, we have to know what our children, you know, what they take out of media, what they do online, with whom they communicate, the content that they take in, because our children are moved by what they see. It's not their fault. It's just the technology of today. Things has gone techy. Even babies have it. Everyone is doing one thing or the other. So, you know, children don't want to be left out. So, but how can we protect them from predators? How can we protect them from being bullied? How can we protect them from viewing things that are not meant for them? Let's go there. Hello and welcome to the Truth God's One channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Hello to my new subscribers, I say thank you, and to my old subscribers, I see you are highly welcome and thank you for your love and your support. So today, the topic that we have is parental controls. You may ask, what is parental control? How can I, how can I use that control or that method to monitor what my children watch in their phones, on internet, and see, on televisions? Is very, very important yes what's what is parental control you may ask parental controls are features that we use on our children's phones or let's just say they are features that you can implement in a digital television also on your computer on video games so as to limit the the children from viewing things that are inappropriate for them you know, you use this technique or they just use this feature to prevent the children from viewing things that are inappropriate for them. As we know that our world, or they say our generation, is a generation of techie children. You see babies with pads, iPhones, children everywhere with phones, even, you know, you just be wondering what are they understanding. But these babies understand the technology. They understand so fast and they are really enjoying it. So let's leave the baby out of this now. We're talking about our children who are eight or let's say seven, eight, nine, ten years old from there above, you know, how to prevent them from viewing things that are not suitable for them. You and I have a lot of work to do there. But most importantly, it's good we speak to our children. We have to speak to them to tell them the danger in viewing things that are inappropriate for them because as we all know children want this freedom they want to be on their phone from morning to night you know not minding what they are viewing but it's our duty as the parents to limit what our children see on the internet and which game they play because as you can also see that there are many aggressive games there you know out there there are many things you know even sexuality things sexual things that are not it also help us set what our children find on search engine you know it helps us so because once we have set it then our children will not be so exposed to everything on the internet so there are some things that our children cannot come in contact with because those things has been limited our children cannot view them and they are more secured when they cannot view such words you know what I mean as a mom and dad. So I don't really need to go into details about this. But search, you know, parental control help in the search engine. It helps to filter it, okay? So they don't get to get things that are not meant for them. Parental control can also help us track our children's location to know where our children are at certain moments. It helps us to know if our children are in danger or if they need our help because it will help us know where they are actually so that is why it's good to set the GPS you know in the setting you set it and you inform your child let's inform our children not to post 
their location online on social media they should avoid that because it can it can also put them in danger when they post where they are online or on websites the evil ones can get hold of this information and then come after them thereby they have endangered themselves their lives so it's not good to post your location online so please we have work to do there let's talk to our children if you're online don't post it but as a family i'm your family member you're my family member we have our brothers sisters and all your children i mean so you can tell them yes you know we will set it on privacy you know on private so you just put it on the site in privacy and whenever you want to know where your family member is it's just you and your family member that can see where you are you know where you guys are so not outsiders so and no one no one is supposed to post their location online so that is what you guys discuss, discuss as family that no one posts where they are online for safety purpose for safety purpose because the days are evil the days are evil god is our protector and he will continue to protect us and our children in jesus name this can also help us in setting the screen limit because as we see, just like as I heard from a friend, not not quite long, she said yes, that she allowed her children with the phones so the children can stay there from morning till evening. If they are hungry, they'll just go and take food and that's all. So, but you know, I was just wondering, how do they communicate as family then? You know, if all you do is just sit there on your screen and you're typing, chatting with other people, they are physically present with you. So, you know, it's it makes the children to be detached from the physical environment. So that is why we need to set this limit, screen limit. So once we can set it like two hours after two hours, the phone goes off, you know, the child cannot use it again. You know that is if they are home it's not when they're out but you know if they are home and they have something to do you know we can just set those things so that they don't glue they don't stay glued to their phones pressing and playing games till night because it's not really good because once they get addicted then it's a problem when they get addicted because some children cannot do without their games their favorite games yes it's quite understandable when you when you have your favorite game running, you just want to keep it up. You just want to, you know, watch it often and often. And if you if you don't have control, then it's not good. So that is where we have to help our children. Okay? Mom and dad, we have work to do. It also helps us in helping our children keep their reputation. Because, you know, it's normal to post your vacation pictures or fun pictures or whatever you have done online for some people, not for all. So, you know, children may have the urge to post things that are not meant to be posted. And later in life, when they are in search of job, it can really affect them. Because most of these companies, you know, they do Google search. They search about their, their candidates, you know, about their potential candidates to know everything about the person. And maybe you have shared an innocent post, but this post can be misunderstood. And this can also hinder the children from, from getting the job or from getting that which they have applied for so that is why we can help our children or tell them post things not for everyone to see okay just post it and set it on private so that you have you you know those who can view it and those who are not because children don't really consider that you know they just post because they just want to post so we should help them we should tell them that yes you are not posting just for today think in 10 years time Will you be proud of yourself that you posted what you just posted today so you know let's just help them to think about their life and, and to us to reflect because it's good to reflect about life and about what you expect out of life in many years to come so that is why parental control help in keeping our children's reputation the next thing parents has to be aware of is that we have intelligent children too there are children who find out that these things are on their screen that is why it's not good for you to lie about it tell them it's there if you hide it and you do and you just insert it on their phones some intelligent children may find out that such thing is on their phone and what would they do they would just delete it without even telling you and you think oh i'm not getting anything which means my son or my daughter is not visiting sites that are inappropriate for him or her it doesn't work that way 
So that is why we need to inform them that it's there, but it's for me. It proves to me that CS things are well with you, my child. I trust you, but I just need to have this on your phone, okay? You never can tell, my son, my child, my daughter. You never can tell. So that is why it's on your phone. I trust you, of course. I know you can make good decisions. I know you can also stand and take responsibilities for your action. You can take responsibility for your action, so I don't need to doubt that. But I'm doing this for our own good, in case of, of an emergency, okay? That is how to win that trust. That is, that is how to win that child trust, so that that child will not feel that he or she has been monitored, he or she has been spied on. Because if they find out that you did this, they may despise you and it's not good. And you will be drained emotionally that they believe that mom trusts me. So if they cannot believe the mom and dad trust me, it's also a problem. So that is why as parents, we need to be very, very careful. We have to, okay? In our dealings with the children, let's be careful. Let's be careful. It's so, so important. Parental control provides for us peace of mind. It assures us that our children are protected from viewing things that are inappropriate, images, videos that are inappropriate for them. And it also helps us to, to, to monitor what they do online and to know when a predator comes in because they can also come in stylishly, coming in as a friend just to gain that child trust. They may act so wonderfully towards the child and then thereby gain the child's trust and you don't know at all that they are predators. So that is why we need to protect our children. That is why we need to watch what they do online to see what they do online, to read what they post online. I know we must not always know everything, but at least if we have a sound relationship with them, this will make them open up to us. This will make them come to us when they have problems. They wouldn't go out there seeking, seeking for advice from, from the friends that don't even know too, but pretend as if they know. So they just avoid some certain things in life. I know that they should make their mistake, but some children have made a mistake that has destroyed their destiny. And that is not what we want for our children. We want our children to, to make healthy, healthy mistakes. Yeah, there are some mistakes that are healthy. That is trying something and it, and it didn't work out because you tried it wrongly. And then you learn from them, you know, okay, because I did it wrongly, now I have to redo it and do it right this time. So there are some things that, that our children are not supposed to experience because we have experienced them and we know how it is handling the situations. We knew what we battled. We battled. We know all these things. We know what we battled. We know it's not easy. So that is why we don't want our children to also go through the same thing. It took God's grace for us to come out of many situations that we got ourselves in Deutsch because of no control. Most of us grew up having to cater for ourselves, doing things. But thank God then, there was nothing like internet like this, like in those time. Then we don't have all this technological things so much. Tech was there but not so high like today's world. Today even babies know how to handle iPad and phones and all that. But then in our days when we were growing up it was different. So that is why it's just a different thing for us and we have to approach it appropriately. We don't have to approach it in a very in inappropriate way or trying to cause a sin. No. We have to talk to the children. Because they are children, they are our children. The children God has blessed us with. And we will give account to God. So that's why we need to teach them the way of God. And tell them as good children of God, there are things that you are not supposed to watch. There are things, there are places that you are not supposed to visit. There are things you need to avoid. You know, for your own good. It's for your own good. You may say, no, I can deal with it. You know, I just have to watch and just throw my face away. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, child. So that is why, you know, you need to watch things that get you creative, things that help your spiritual life, things that makes you be a better person. Nobody says you shouldn't have fun, child. You should have fun, but there are things that you don't need to do. There are things that you don't need to say. It's not necessary. You don't need it, okay? So parents, that is our job. And by God's grace, we will overcome. We will raise up good, sound, mentally, emotionally brave children, okay? Everything will be fine. And our children, will rise up and call us blessed. They will rise up and say blessed in Jesus' name.
So that's my prayer for you. Are you struggling with your child? Are you struggling with your children? I'm praying for you right now. I say that the hand of God will touch them. The hand of God will touch your child. That child has given you a headache. That has been causing you much problem. God is touching him or her. The Spirit of God is touching that child. And that child will be a better person in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for coming. If you have any question, please write it. Send me a message on Daughter of God One. That is on IG. Send me inbox. If you have anything you want me to talk about, send it there. I would like to talk about it. I would like us to discuss, okay? If you have anything that you have experienced with your child, with your children, and you want other parents to know about that so that they will prevent that from happening, please don't hesitate to send me this because as you do, you are helping to save another child. You are helping to save a family from stress and problem. So please do, okay? Send me your thoughts. I'm so glad that we have today to discuss. I'll be waiting to read more of you. Thank you so much. Or to read more from you. Thanks so much and God bless you. Subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. Hit the like button and share this out to be a blessing to someone out there. I love you, but Jesus loves you more.